the Joe Rogan experience. Um, I know that your life was hard, mm -hmm. but if you had to live it over again, <laughs> I mean, what? I mean, it made you who you are. That's it made what's me why that's I wouldn't what's change anything. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. But I it's a fucked up thing to ask someone when they tell you they're molested by your mom's boyfriend and that, you know, you had a, a baby with this guy when you were 14 and he's married and mm -hmm. another one. And by the time you're 16, you're pregnant with a third. Yeah. No, no one would ever yeah, great. selling crack, getting shot in the tit. No one would ever ask you to live that life again. But you you wouldn't change it. <sighs> I don't know, Joe. I mean, it made, it, it, shaped, it made me who I am. But I always I look at life like this. Um, I think I would, you know, everybody couldn't have dealt with the stuff that I dealt with it like I dealt with it. Like some people commit suicide. Some people are always depressed. You know, I kind of feel like I was a chosen one. God take you through something so it can, you know, to make other people see. Maybe I was put, maybe I took burden that everybody else was going through in life. And I I was a chosen one. And then I, I bring it out and make it funny. So I'm here to make people, let, let people know it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. It's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. Right. I don't dwell on shit I don't have control over. I can't change the past. But let's laugh today. And I tell people every night on stage, when you can laugh about it, you got control of it. That's a powerful thing to be able to look at your life like that and just take ownership. Yeah. You know, like my first kid's father, he hates me. He fucking hates me. You know why? Because I'm not that little girl rabbit anymore that he had control of, that he beat. And, he, you know, I was a little girl searching for love. In, in this whole situation, I learned to love myself, Joe. Do you, are you still in touch with him? Yeah, I talked to him. He be cussing me out. He's like he's not in jail. Yeah, that's what I be telling him. I'm he's like, lucky. dude, you're he's a child real, molester. He's a child molester. You're a child molester. I'm not a child molester. I remember when I needed closure. And um, I was I was out here in L.A. And um, I, I'm starting to tell these stories about my life. And I just wanted him to apologize. You know, he shot me in the back of the head. Fucking beat me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> so I wanted him <laughs> to apologize. And I was like, why do you need him to apologize? I, said, I just want to hear. I just want him to say, Rabbit, I'm sorry. So I call him up. And I said, Daryl, we started talking. Oh, shit, I said his name. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Daryl, you're going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> so I call him and I ask him <laughs> to apologize. And he, I said, I said, how can you fuck a 12 year old and you grown and you married? You know what he said? He said, your mind and body wasn't 12. And that shit kicked me in my fucking chest like a horse. And I boo hoo. And that mm. day, Joe, I decided I was no longer going to ask him. To ask for to you know to ask me to forgive him, I decided to forgive him. I forgave my mama. I forgave my mama boyfriend and everybody else that stepped on me. And I said, no longer am I ever gonna want to do, come come come. I know. I say from that day on, I'm never gonna ask y'all for forgive. I'm never gonna ask you again. I'm. I decided to forgive you. And I, that day, I forgave him, my mama, and her boyfriend, and everybody else that ever violated me because it was so many other people that i don't still don't talk about but i forgave them that's a very powerful thing and i'm happy that's a very powerful thing if you could forgive people who've done terrible things yeah. to you and you haven't done shit to them yeah the people that want f them to apologize they chase them down they, they want to get back that you're eating yourself up you eating yourself up. and i was eating myself up because i just wanted him to say i'm sorry rabbit and he never said it. Well, once he told you that when you were 12, your mind and your body weren't young, you got to realize you're talking to a fucking idiot. An idiot. And I called my husband and I was crying. He was like, Pat, why you keep... I said, I just want him to ask me to... I just want him to say he's sorry. That's all I want him to say. And he was like, Pat, why? And I remember hanging on the phone and I got on my knees. And I rarely get on my knees, Joe. And I got vertigo, so I don't get on my knees for shit. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. So I just, I asked for forgiveness. I mean, I forgave him. That day I forgave him and my mama. Because uh, him, my mama, and, and her boyfriend, John, is the three of the people that I hated the most. Because she didn't protect me. And when we once tried to tell her that her boyfriend was doing that to us, you know, he wouldn't listen. She wouldn't listen because this man was providing. It was the only time in my life that we didn't get evicted because he was touching me and my sister. He was always say, well, if you tell your mama, y'all going to get put out. Y'all ain't going to have no food. So we always thought we was helping. We always thought we was helping. <sighs> so, you know, but I forgave him. I and, mean, you know, they was they was already dead, but he's still alive. 
He's still alive. My kid's father's still alive. And you want to yeah. know something crazy? And I never told anybody this. So people are like, why you don't go to your mama grave site? You know, a lot of people are like, I don't like fucking with the dead. I figure they want to rest. Leave them the fuck alone. They don't want to hear about this lovely, this, this lively shit. I don't go to her grave, y'all, because that motherfucker put himself next to her. Wow. He buried himself next to my mama. So I said, fuck both of you. I'm not going up there. <sighs> He's laying right next to her. Wow. Last time I was there, before he died, I was there cleaning off some ants on top of her grave. And, you know, I'm young. I'm probably, she died when I was 16. I'm probably 16, 17. I go out there with a gas can, pour it on top and light it on fire to get the ant bed off. I don't set the whole fucking grave off. I tell you, I tell you, got rid of the ants. You poured <laughs> gas on it and lit it on fire. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God. Oh. I haven't been back, Joe. <laughs> I haven't yeah. been back. You don't I, need to go back. I won't go back. He's you next to us. So he, he he wanted that control, so he got it. Wow. Fuck him. I'm never going back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs>